Good evening. Welcome to Christ the King's Compline service. This is Friday, March 31st. The service of Compline begins on page 57 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty God and Father, we confess to you, to one another, and to the whole company of heaven, that we have sinned through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us. Forgive us our sins, and by the power of your Holy Spirit, raise us up to serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We'll now have the scripture readings. Uh, today we'll read uh, together Psalm 91, and this is found on page 59. Whoever dwells under the defense of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say unto the Lord, you are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I will trust. For he shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall defend you under his wings and you shall be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness and truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night nor of the arrow that flies by day of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the sickness that destroys at noonday. A thousand shall fall beside you and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Indeed, with your eyes you shall behold and see the reward of the ungodly, because you have said, the Lord is my refuge and have made the most high your stronghold. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands that you hurt not your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the serpent you shall trample under your feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will lift him up because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will hear him. Indeed, I am with him in trouble. I will deliver him and bring him honor. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And on page 61 from Hebrews, now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Page 62. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep me, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 
O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Lighten our darkness, we beseech you, O Lord, and by your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us to the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Yep. We now have the nunc dimittis. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us this night and evermore. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us for the service of Compline, and this concludes our morning prayer and Compline services for uh, this week. Uh, this Sunday is Palm Sunday, and we'll be celebrating that at both services. And then uh, we begin Holy Week, and we have special services for Monday, Thursday at 630 service and a Good Friday service at 630 as well, uh, p.m. And uh, we uh, welcome you to, to be there for those services. And thank you for joining us. God bless you.